I am super excited ahead of the barn today because I'm hoping that we're going to have some goat kids. I'm really not sure if we are though, but we did check her last night and her ligaments on her back end where you feel, they were, they were gone, so at least from what we could feel. And so we really do feel that she is pretty close. But I hear her screaming in there right now as I get closer to the barn. And so because of that, I'm pretty sure she probably hasn't had her kids yet. Because she would be pretty content, I think, if she had her kids in there right now. We shall see. What are you doing? Hey there, you silly goat. You hopped over into the other pen. When are you going to have your babies? Hmm? Is that an I don't know? I'll see if I can get her to hop over to the other side and then I will show you how we feel her ligaments to tell her if she's getting close to delivering. Okay, so last night we managed to get her to hop back over by giving her a little grain, so I'm going to see if I can get her to do that today. Okay, so that kind of makes me a little bit nervous because I'm not sure I really want her hopping over like that. So I'm going to try to bring her around. There we go. Oh dear, we're having an unlimited all-you-can-eat soaked grain party in here. Okay, so when a goat is about ready to kid, they say their ligaments will completely disappear right through here. And it'll become squishy. And I mean, she is really squishy from what I can tell. Not only that, but her udder has really filled out. Look at that. So I really do think it's going to be any time now. Okay, you guys, the party's over. You need to get out. And go out, Neville. Well, I know. So today is shopping day and we've got our eggs all packed up and we're getting ready to head to town. Um, I was going to take you guys along 
just to show you what our shopping day is like, but we are kind of on a time crunch because we've got a lot of things going on. So I think I'm just going to show you some footage of Brooke making her bath bombs yesterday, and we'll take you shopping on another day. So what's going on today? Um, I'm making fizzy bath bombs again. And my first ones that I made during the video turned into a big flop. They are like flatter than a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> um, my cousin saw that I would I made them, so then she made them, but she made them with um, baby oil, and um, it, and then hers turned out good they didn't fall like what mine did so then um so then i tried it and so far these these two have not fallen and they're still round yet so and what kind of oil did you use the first time i used coconut oil um my first time and that didn't work so um, and then, the, the recipe calls for oil, and then, um, um, and then they recommended olive oil. Well, in my first batch, I used coconut oil, then I decided to try olive oil, since that's what it calls for. And they still turned out flat, but not as flat as the other ones did. So... Thank you.